Black Man. I didn't think about these before I started answering them, in case you couldn't tell. Hey, this is Megan in the Restricted section. Today I have decided to do the Rapid Fire book tag. Um, I was not tagged in this, but I saw Becky Ford do this and I thought it looked like fun. Um, I guess the original tag was created by Kate at Girl Reading. So I will put both of those videos down below so you guys can check them out. Um, it just looked like a fun and simple little tag to do. So, here we go. Uh, just so you know, it's storming like a son of a bitch. So if you hear thunder, it's probably that and not Thor. Probably. Alright. Rapid Fire book tag. So let's get started. Um, ebook or physical book? Physical book, although it is, I do have quite a few books on my Kindle just for convenience sake. Um, paperback or hardback? Paperback, it's just easier to read. Online or in store book shopping? I don't like crowds of people, so I'm really tempted to say online, but I really love used bookstores. So that one's a tough one. Can I call that a draw? Am I allowed to do that? I'm going to say in store. I'll say in store. Um, trilogies or series, it depends on how much I like the series. If I really dig it, I want to read more than three books of it, but I like trilogies because it's not as much of a commitment and it t wraps itself up in three books, so that's nice. Um, so I'm going to go with trilogies. Uh, heroes or villains? Hmm. I'm going to go with heroes. There are a lot of villains that I enjoy reading about, but ultimately, I think at the end of the day, I don't know that I've ever really rooted for a villain. So I'm going to go heroes. Uh, a book that you want everyone to read. I recommend The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. It's by Becky Chambers to every fucking body. Um, what else? Ooh, The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood's pretty badass. So yeah, that one. Ooh, and kin Kindred by Octavia Butler as well. So there's three. Um, recommend an underrated book. Uh, do any of those count as underrated books? I don't know. Um, an underrated book. I don't know, that one's tough. Um, maybe, I don't know if it's underrated, but I haven't heard a ton of people talk about it. Uh, maybe The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. I recommend that one to a lot of people. And I think that that was his debut novel as well, uh, which is crazy, because that book is batshit bananas crazy. So we'll go with that one. I don't know if it counts as underrated, but I dig it, so you should read it. Um, the last book you finished, Smaller and Smaller Circles by F.H. Badakin, or Badakin. Um, last book you bought... Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. I'm sure that I pronounced that incorrectly. Um, weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark. I have used a clean tissue as a bookmark before. I feel like that's probably strange. Um, I'll just kind of use whatever's handy at the time. But I do, I know a lot of people um, don't like this, but I do fold over corners. I dog ear corners. I'm a monster. Um, used book, yes or no, emphatic yes, absolutely yes, most definitely yes. You know, I love used books, used books are my favorite, I love the way they smell, they are affordable, um, I love it when people leave bookmarks in them or write things like in the margins and stuff, I love that, I think it's awesome, so definitely used books. Uh, top three favorite genres, uh, dystopian, sci-fi, uh, horror. Yeah. We'll go with that. Um, I'll read, I'll usually read just about anything. Um, really the only genre, now there's two genres that I don't really care for, and that's romance and western. Um, borrow or buy. I borrow a lot of books from Sue and from my local library, um, but I do like to buy them. Um, I like both of these. I'm going to call this one a draw. Characters or plot? I like character development a lot. 
and I'll stick with a book that maybe doesn't have um, a strong plot line if it has really awesome character development. I think um, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet was kind of like that, where the characters were really bitching. It was a very character-driven story, um, whereas the plot wasn't necessarily like there was a lot of um, action happening. It wasn't super plot-driven. Uh, long or short books, it depends on how good the book is. Um, I don't like to DNF things, so I will read a shit-ass book um, regardless of the length just so that I can I have to finish it um, can we go I mean I don't know this is a hard one to choose from I don't know what kind of question that is um, long or short chapters I like short chapters because it makes me feel like I'm making more progress than maybe I am um, yeah short chapters name the first three books you think of well, now I'm overthinking it, so this is going to be weird. First three books you think of. 1984 by George Orwell. Because um, that's my favorite. Um, the Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Um, and Picnic on Paradise by Joanna Russ, but that's just because it's sitting on my coffee table and I can see it. Books that make you laugh or cry, does that mean, like, you don't want me to list them, you want to know, like, do I prefer books that make me laugh or do I prefer books that make me cry? Is that what, what we're going for here? Um, I always prefer to laugh. Our world or fictional worlds? I really like my life. I like my life a lot. I think it's fantastic. Having said that, I would kind of like my life to be taking place at Hogwarts. So same same life, same same people in my life, just at Hogwarts. Um, audiobooks, yes or no? I say no. I don't like them. I know a lot of people do. Um, if I traveled a lot and I was driving in my car a lot, I think I I may feel differently about them. Um, I don't care for them. I don't think that they count as necessarily reading. Like if I listen to an audiobook, I'm not going to say I read that book. I'm going to say I, I listened to that book. Um, do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes, I do. I've purchased several books solely based on the cover. If you watch, um, Sue and I did a library sale book haul. There are a few books in there that I bought because we went on Dollar Bag Day and I thought the cover looked cool. Um, book to movie or book to TV adaptation? Ooh. I've seen that go both ways. Uh, I think sometimes book to TV is good because if you do like a, a series then you can include more of the details and stay more true to the book than you would be able to do in a movie. Because in order for the movie to not be like three years long you'd have to cut shit out. So, but I've seen some really good book to movie adaptations too. So, and a movie doesn't take up as much of my life as a TV show does. So let's go book to movie on that one. But again, that's a close one. Um, a movie or TV show that you preferred to its book? Jurassic Park. I like the movie Jurassic Park much better than I like the book. Um, series or standalones? I will say standalones. I do enjoy a good series, but that's a big time commitment. Because if it's a good series, once I start it, I want to finish it. So. I'm going to go with standalones. So yeah, that is the rapid fire book tag. I'm not going to tag anyone, um, but if you would like to do this tag, do it. Um, it was fun. So, And I didn't think about the answers to any of these before I started doing this, so in case you couldn't tell. Um, but yeah, so if you want to do this tag, go ahead and do it. Um, as usual, there will be some links down below where you can find Sue and I elsewhere on social media if you are so inclined. If you're not already subscribed to the restricted section, go ahead and push the button. Go ahead and subscribe. And that's it for me today, so I'll see you next time.